I don't know if I like my cat. <laughs> He's actually not even my cat. <laughs> He's my friend's cat, a very good friend. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. She had a sudden health crisis and asked if I could take care of him. And I said, of course. So suddenly here I am with this new roommate. When he arrived, immediately he just darted under the bed and pretty much hid there for the first few days. It's okay. And then suddenly, like that, he was just no longer afraid at all and just made himself right at home. And then he became obsessed with me. I gave him tons of attention. I played with him all the time, but it was just never enough. He always wanted more. And anytime I would turn my attention to something other than him, he would scratch at me until I turn my attention back. I constantly feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. It drove me totally crazy. Ow, 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 ow. But it, it's complicated because at the same time, we were both <laughs> totally falling in love. Was it a toxic love? Perhaps. Ow, ow, ow. But it was definitely the kind of love where you're willing to work really hard to make the relationship work. <laughs> At first, our issues were pretty straightforward. I was tired of him scratching me and scratching my furniture all the time. Ow! Hey, these marks, I mean, that's just from yesterday. And I upgraded the scratching post. This is a no area. And this is a, oh, yes. And you just walk away. Okay. You did it! I, I ruined it, you were doing it, and I, I broke your concentration! Good job! But then things escalated. So most of the time his scratching and his biting, it's just play. But every I, I, once in a while, I, I, it would just be full-on stalker mode. I'm just going to the kitchen! I'm just going to the kitchen, seriously, dude! So how's Teddy? <laughs> well, last night I brought a date over to my apartment. He, he attacked me. In front of her? Yes, in front of her. You, just, you never really want your date to say, wow, you're, you're bleeding a lot. Was he jealous? Yeah, he's just like waiting for me. Do I get mad at him? Yeah, often, I do. In the moment, yes. But I've come to realize that his most stalkerish moments, they're really just an extension of him wanting comfort and connection. And he just, he just wants a lot of it. And there's definitely a part of me deep down that completely understands and relates. Since he's such a social cat and wants to be with me all the time, and I work from home and I can't always attend to him, Teddy, are you, are you seriously drinking my tea? I decided to buy this automated toy for when I need to attend a meeting or step away or something. That was huge. He loves it. You know, since I got the automated toy, I found that he's actually getting a little better at not relying solely on me for playtime. After months went on, it became clear that he was basically gonna be with me indefinitely. My friend was not in a place where she was gonna be able to take care of him anymore. I have a decision to make. If I don't keep him, does that make me a hypocritical animal lover at best? Or just like a straight up bad person at worst? It's obviously more complicated than that. Part of me really wants to adopt him. I've grown super attached and I love him like crazy. And I even like him too. You know, like 75% of the time. But isn't that how all loving relationships work? Because I love him so much, I truly want what's best for him. And. Part of me wonders if living with me in my apartment is really the best situation for him long term. I travel a lot and I regularly go to the West Coast for sometimes weeks at a time. I've arranged friends to come by and visit him and play with him in addition to his cat sitter, but it's, it's really not the best situation because ideally he needs someone who's home a lot. I know you just want to hang out. I also think Teddy would love to have another cat buddy or maybe a dog friend. He's just such a social guy and he loves to be in the mix. So if you think you might be his person, a person that checks all the Teddy boxes and is willing to love and imperfectly 
perfect cat. Please get in touch. But until then, I'll keep working it out and giving him the best home I can. <laughs>